Hey you guys, it's the Thrifty Hijab here. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I style and wrap my hijab. Ever since I started my blog last year called the Thrifty Hijab, I have gotten a lot of requests on how I style my hijab. So today I'm going to do a tutorial on exactly that. Okay, now there are two basic styles that I usually wear day to day. And right now I'm wearing pretty much just sticking with Shayla hijabs, which are the long rectangular shaped hijabs. And more specifically, I'm using cotton jersey knit. And the reason why I'm using the jersey knit ones because I feel like they are just so effortless and they just stick to your head and you really don't have to fuss with them. Once you style it, it's like there all day. So Today I'm going to show you a couple of the styles that I wear every day and I'm going to show you a couple of different variations of those. So first things first, I will be wearing a ninja hijab which is this black piece you see underneath. Um, on a regular day to day basis I wear my satin hijab under underscarf. This is what I put on underneath my hijab. I wear a satin because it is good for the hair and also it's good for, this underscore is just good for smoothing my hair back neatly before I actually put on my hijab. Okay, so first I place my hijab on my head. Whenever I put on my shavers, one side is short and one side is long. Usually for me, my um, short side is on my left side, my long side is on my right side, okay? Another thing, people always ask me about my earrings. My earrings are always on before I even attempt to wrap my hijab, okay? So once that is on, I take my Shayla and I go underneath my chin around my earrings. around my earrings. Now, the earrings I usually wear, they're easy. They easily hang out of my hijab. I don't try to wear anything too complicated, complex, too big, too extravagant that's not going to be able to easily hang. Okay. Now, usually, I wear a pin at my neck. I am not going to encourage you all to wear a pin at your neck for a couple of reasons. For one, um, if you can use less pins, it's always better. And I think jersey um, hijabs are great for being able to wrap without actually pinning. Uh, another reason is pins can be irritable, uncomfortable, and they can leave marks. So I won't encourage you all to pin at the neck at all. Okay? And you can do this style without pinning at the neck. So once. What you're going to do is you're going to hold this one piece with one hand. You're going to take the other hand and just wrap it. Bring it all the way around. So you bring this piece all the way around. Once that piece is around, also if you have to straighten this out, straighten it out now before you pin it as, before you tend pin the top piece because it's going to be hard to straighten it out after you pin it. So once this is brought over, you just take a stick pin, a straight stick pin, just simple silver stick pin. And I pin it right behind my ear like so. Careful not to stick yourself. Okay, so that's going to hang like that. Now, down here you're going to have a lot of fabric, so you want to fold it over like that. You fold it over, then you bring this piece up, and you're going to pin that with a small safety pin. You're going to pin that to your clothes. I have on a dress, so I just pin it right in the back of my shoulder underneath so the pin won't be showing okay okay and just that's the style right there 
You see this style a lot on my blog. I wear this particular style a lot. It's my favorite go-to style. Okay. So, another variation of this style is you bring this piece back over. You leave it the way the pins are. You bring this piece back over. I think I showed this on my Instagram one time. You let that hang. Okay, so you put that piece back over. Okay. And you can bring this piece that's already pinned. Unpin it because we're doing a different style. Unfold it. Fan it out. And we bring this up. Up and around there, the top. And we pin that just at the top. However, you're going to pin it. All right. Okay. So that's another style that you can wear. That's another style, another variation of that same style I sh previously showed you. Okay, another style I'm going to show you. This is a very, very simple style. Okay, you start again just like so. Short side on my left side, long side on my right side. You do the same thing. You bring it around underneath your chin, around underneath your earrings. And you're going to take this piece. You're going to hold that piece again like I showed you. This piece, you're going to bring around your neck. Take it all the way around, pull it, okay? This is a simple style. You can put it at your neck, you can put a pin at your neck if you want to. I don't encourage it, but you tuck that underneath your neck like that, okay? And just like the last time we had all this material, you're going to fold that over the same way we did that first stop and bring it up underneath this piece. And you're just going to pin it to your clothing, pin it to my dress. Sorry about my son, if you can hear him, he's so loud. Okay, so that's one style, that's another style. And I like this style in the cooler months, because it's like having a built-in, it's like having a built-in scarf. So I like this in the fall and the winter. Um, different variation of this one is simple. Simply take that piece and throw it to the back. <laughs> you might like that instead. Okay, have like on your shoulder and to the back. And that's it pretty much. Um, so I think these all these styles are pretty simple. Um, so you can give them a try. Let me know what you think of them. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. Um, give me a thumbs up anyway for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. If there's any other videos you'd like for me to do in the future, let me know below. Again, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I don't think I told you at the beginning. My name is Sana. I am the Thrifty Hijabi. I have a blog called The Thrifty Hijabi. You can find me at www.thethrifthijabi.com. I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. I'm an avid thrifter and a bargain shopper. Um, I believe that beauty and fashion can be done on a budget. I will be putting out more videos in the future. Um, just talking about thrifting, talking about blogging talking about refashioning because I love to refashion 
uh, old things into new, more useful things. So check me out. Until next time, you guys.